we're cooler today, obviously, than yesterday. It's really comfortable outside, and it's dry for now. So enjoy the afternoon uh, while it lasts, because I think we will see a few showers, especially overnight tonight. Mostly cloudy today. Again, temperatures dropping about 10 to 15 degrees from yesterday. There is a chance of showers later on tonight through Thursday, east of the Cascades. And over the mountains, there's a threat of thunderstorms each afternoon, today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And then the sun returns on Friday, and we're heating up quite nicely. I think temperatures will be in the low 80s and upper 70s on Friday, even warmer on Saturday, and then a bit of a cool down for Mother's Day, but still very pleasant weather on the way for Sunday. So here's a live look at satellite and radar. Not much going on in the Willamette Valley at all, just those high clouds filtering our sunlight. Want to direct your attention, though, to the south around uh, Lake and Kalamath counties. We're starting to see a bit of development. So you can see these clouds. Those are uh, cumulonimbus clouds that are starting to build down to the south, and showers are developing. Wouldn't be surprised if these develop into thunderstorms. And there's a chance we could see thunderstorms in the Cascades through the Gorge and in central Oregon as we head through the afternoon. This is the thunderstorm outlook for today. It's something that the Storm Prediction Center issues every day. Everywhere highlighted in that light green could see a storm. Now, here's tomorrow's outlook. So, still east of the Cascades, that threat of a thunderstorm could be an active week east of the mountains. So, here's the rest of the day. There are those high clouds filtering our sunlight over the Cascades. Some showers start to develop. And then potentially thunderstorms indicated by the yellows there on your rain forecast. This is 5:30 at night, still quiet in the valley. And then let's uh, zip on through. You'll notice Ben gets in on the action later on today too. By 10:30, we do have some showers in the Willamette Valley, moving from south to north, and we could see some showers overnight. But tomorrow morning, not a lot going on. You'll see there's the potential for a shower there out along the coast, and we could see some wet weather from time to time. But west of the Cascades tomorrow, not a lot going on. You'll notice you don't have to go for far east, though, to get in on some thunderstorm activity tomorrow afternoon. Those kind of climb up the Cascades throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Thursday, another quiet start to the day on Cinco de Mayo with mostly cloudy skies. Notice once again, showers and storms develop east of the Cascades on Thursday afternoon and evening. But west of the mountains, I think we'll see increasing sunshine Cinco de Mayo evening. So if you have plans on Thursday night, it looks like the weather should be okay. Warm bubble of air has moved off to the east. Cooler air taking over, but still above average. We'll be in the 60s tomorrow and Thursday with just a few spotty showers around. I think less than a tenth or two tenths of an inch of rain this week. And then warm air takes over again for Friday and Saturday. And again, Mother's Day that looks pretty dang nice too. Out along the coast, mostly cloudy, spotty showers today. High temperatures in the low 60s. We'll be in the low to mid 70s for the I 5 corridor. East of the Cascades, pretty warm, but you'll notice that convection as the afternoon wears on and the threat of thunderstorms. Spot showers possible tomorrow, 65 degrees on Wednesday. 68 Thursday, Friday about 80 degrees and a lot of sunshine. Saturday 85, mostly sunny on Mother's Day, but will cool down a bit. Some models indicating closer to 70 degrees. I'll keep 75 on there for the time being. But uh, mm -hmm. overall, not a lot to complain about in that forecast.